these disorders, things that, right? Are you kidding? My mood's going to get worse if you make me gain five pounds. It's going to get worse. We have a lot of evidence that um, mood gets better, anxiety gets better, but really interesting, body satisfaction gets no worse and often gets better with weight restoration. So there is something about <coughs> the starvation state and its effect on all of these psychological symptoms that you can't, you know, you can't ignore that. Um, people are thinking differently when they really have been weight restored. That's number one. Number two, um, a group at Johns Hopkins did a really interesting study about perceived coercion. So they took their hospital-based program, a day program, and they were actually asking the teens primarily, when people first came in, are you here of your own free will? How pressured and forced do you feel to be here? And these were kids, I mean, nobody was actually an involuntary patient, but the parents would sign them in because they were below 18. The vast majority said I was forced. I don't care what anybody says, I feel pressured, I really didn't have a choice. Within two weeks, the vast majority of those same folks say, oh no, 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 this is something I, I want to do. <laughs> so even the experience of being pressured to do it seemed to change as they were undergoing the process. Maybe to follow up with that, does that change what we're age as well? Or do you see any? I don't know enough to know. Yeah. How does the length of inpatient um, stay for you know like se severely um, anorexic patients? How how does the length of their inpatient stay affect their prognosis like in the long run? Oh, it's a hard question because the length of inpatient stay is so at the mercy of the resources that people use to pay for that treatment. So the length of stay for hospital has has really gotten shorter and shorter, 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 to the point that really it's hard to keep people more than a few days, certainly more than a couple of weeks. Yes, if somebody comes in really on death's door and more and more and more the only people who go to hospital are the ones who really are so severely, severely affected. Yes, sometimes they'll stay a bunch of weeks, but in, you know, it used to be a much longer stay. We have another unit, um, the one that we're affiliated with in Columbia, because it's state supported, it's New York state supported, it actually, doesn't use insurance, it's no cost to the individuals who go there. People want to participate in research, that's what brings them to our center, but people can still stay there until they're fully weight restored, and that takes a couple of months. So they're there for a much, much longer period of time. But in the real world, um, people are in the hospital for very short periods of time. There, are, there now are new um, settings that have developed to help with this problem, and people use residential programs, and partial hospital programs where you sleep at home at night and you spend the whole day in a program. They tried to use those to make up for the fact that nobody can come to the hospital anymore and sometimes it's very helpful. So there isn't really an answer. How does the length of stay really impact on how people do? I think people need to get weight restored if they're underweight. They need to have their behaviors interrupted if they have behaviors that can't respond to patient treatment. And I'm not busy counting hours or counting days. I want to see those behavioral improvements when a treatment's really going to work. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it takes real creativity to find a way 